can we always be this close forever and ever not take me out hey you all welcome to chill so i've seen kurt hugo snyder do this sort of challenge thing where he grabs a popular song that he's never heard and tries to recreate it well not really recreate just kind of create it based on the info that he knows about the artist you know i hope i'm explaining it correctly if i'm not then it's in the card you can go check out i think it's there i don't, I don't know how that, maybe the image is mirrored i don't know then you're gonna have a better understanding of how this freaking challenge works but i thought like i'm also a music producer so i can do this too so i'm, I'm just gonna try now kurt in his newest video at the moment was trying to recreate taylor swift's lover song now what I forgot to say is that I did not watch his video because I knew that I wanted to make uh, this video. Uh, so yeah, let's just continue. Now I'm not allowed to listen to the song itself. I just kind of gotta interpret how I would think that the song would sound like because it's a Taylor Swift song. I would say pop, but based on this genre that it says right here, it says country, alternative country, indie folk. Aha. Uh -huh. Look up the chords on ultimate guitar. Sometimes they can be wrong about the chords, but a hey, relatively simple chord progression, just G, D, and C, which would be like something like that. I don't know. Based on a Wikipedia page and based on this, I think that there might be a lot of guitar in the song, which is of course kind of Taylor's roots. I can also see the BPM is. 68 68 is kind of slow, right? Okay, so this is what it sounds like Is that correct? I'm so confused because considering it's, it's with guitar, it's something totally different than you need to calm down or um, me and that's weird to me. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I was going into this. I really thought it would be like poppy sound, but no, it's more country so um i guess let's grab my guitar okay so i got my guitar right here i just tried to tune it i guess it sounds fine for this recording so ha let's have a look at the strumming pattern it's, it's okay i'm confused because usually strumming is like down and up and stuff, but this is just down, 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 down. Like this is how I interpreted strumming. I don't really understand the other strumming pattern. I'm, 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 I don't play guitar regularly. I didn't know that this was going to be a full on country song. <laughs> Gonna throw it into a file studio, we're gonna see what it sounds like. Okay, it still sounds kind of weird, but I never write songs with a guitar. I always do something weird digitally. I never use a real guitar in my songs up until now. I haven't made that many songs, so I... Uh... Well, still, like, what am I saying? But I think the big difference with me and Kurt Hugo Snyder or Rumi is that I am not that experienced <laughs> yet with music producing. I have some experience, but I am not at a level where I can fully be proud of everything that I've made because I'm still working on a lot of stuff, you know? Okay, it says a country ballad that features a booming snare. When you say ballad, I always think of piano, but it's a country ballad and it's made by Taylor Swift, so I, I don't know if it would feature a piano. A booming snare, that is something that I can work with. I'm gonna use that for the booming snare, that's probably not what the Wikipedia page means, but hey, I already know that I'm gonna be so far off from the original song. Okay, so this is when it's gonna go into the chorus. It's super cheesy, but I just don't know what to do. <laughs> I think I got something. 
I think we, we're gonna work with this. It's it's not gonna be anything like the original, I think. The only, the only similarity it probably has with the original is the fact that it uses a guitar. I'm only gonna be singing like the first part of the song, like the first version chorus, and then it just, and then it ends, because we're truly not gonna need more than that. Okay, I think it's time for me to record, and you're gonna listen to the, to my version, whatever I came up with based on the chords and the text <laughs> and the Wikipedia page. I think the Wikipedia page is what made me unbelievably confused on what the focus of the song was. Let's hear it. Christmas lights up till January This is our place, we make the rules And there's a dazzling haze and mysterious weep about you, dear Have I known you 20 seconds or 20 years? Can I go? Where you go? Can we always be this close? Forever and ever not Take me out and take me home You're my, 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 my Lover Yep, great, okay. Now it's time for me to listen to the or actual song. <sighs> to see how I failed. Okay, let's listen to the actual song. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to make you hear it too, uh, because of copyright, of course, but uh, you can listen to it on your own and I'm just gonna pause it and I'm gonna give my feedback. Okay, so that was the intro. Uh, it uses a bass. I did not use a bass, I just kind of used the orchestral cello that I always use. <laughs> uh, with the guitar I wasn't too far off, I'm just playing it too harshly I guess. Uh, she's gonna sing now. With the melody, I was a bit off. I was almost there, but I thought uh, that what she does right here was a bit too easy, so I wanted to do something different. What I did was also a bit easy based on the chords, but I should have just gone for what was easy, because of course it's Taylor Swift. No offense, I'm kidding, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I also totally screwed up the melody of the chorus. I'm almost there, I guess. Not really, but let's pretend. <laughs> uh, it's hard, okay? It's hard to just interpret a song based on the chords and the text. Ah, uh, but I guess. Thank you for watching this video. Even though I totally failed, I still hope you like my version. And if you want to see more of this head and what's inside it, then um, subscribe. Like this video. I will see you peeps in my next video, I hope. That's a goodbye.